good day, it's me again, JC, and welcome to Robot Show Tunes, my very own YouTube channel where I get to review Transformers toys, Voltus 5 toys, Macross or Robotech toys, Evangelion toys, and just about whatever else I may fancy. And for today's tune, I am going to have a look at New Age Flipper, uh, the very first legendary hero, which is a third-party representation of Generation 1, Bumblebee. First of all, here is the box, the front, the back, the sides are identical, the top, and the bottom. Now, let's take a look at what you get inside. B is packaged in his robot mode, and the only accessory that comes with him is this small, teeny tiny black pistol, which I like to call his stinger. He can hold stinger or his stinger in either hand, though it's a very loose fit, so be sure, be very careful when transporting B while holding the gun because, yeah, that will fall off. And of course, you also get the obligatory transformation instructions. Now, let us talk articulation. The head is on a ball peg. You can turn it the full 360, or the Linda Blair. You can slightly tilt up, down, and side to side. The shoulders are on ball pegs. His arms can extend up to there, and you can swing it, swing the arm round 360 degrees. Uh, there is no bicep swivel, but the ball peg elbows uh, allows for swiveling 360 and for bending up to there. There's no wrist swivel, no waist swivel, no ab crunch, reverse ab crunch, but you do have T-jointed ball joints for which allow for straddle splitting and grand jeteing. Uh, there is no thigh swivel, but the ball jointed knee allows for swiveling. Let's see, that's 360 degrees, and for bending up to there. The ankle is a ball peg which uh, can tilt the foot up, down, and rock from side to side. Well, that's it for articulation. Let us compare robot modes. So here's New Age Toys Bumblebee with DX9 War and Pocket Optimus Prime, with DX9 War and Pocket Grimlock, with New Age Toys Jazz, with Magic Square Toys Trailbreaker, with Tanaka Tony Robot Formers Blue Streak, and with Funko Pop Death of the Endless, let's get on with transformation. To transform Bumblebee, what you want to do first is to flip out these tires. Then open these panels behind the feet. Then point both feet all the way down. Then tab them together like so. Then you open up his backpack then open up his backpack, then open up his chest up to there, bring out his rear wheels, and then put his chest back or not completely, just 
make him look like this again. Then from there, you fish out these window pieces from the backpack. That's blue, primarily blue, with some yellow. And then you bring up his chest again. Then flip it all the way like this. So the pieces of this window meet. Then you close this up. Then you swing the arms in. When you do, make sure that this detail is facing down. The, the fist will look like this. And that's how stuff fits. And then from there, take him like this, swing this up, bend, bend here slightly, let's see, open this up again, bend, bend like that slightly, so that gives you very slight clearance uh, because this is a very tight fit and the clearance is an issue with this transformation step uh, we do the best we can so basically just break break this section up a bit so you can slide these fists into these holes here and then manipulate the pelvis by twisting it, turning it that way. Then close this again. Close these up. And try to lessen the breaks and gaps as best you can. And there you have B in his Penny Racer Volkswagen Beetle mode. Now, let's compare sizes in alt mode. Okay, again, here's new H Toys Bumblebee with DX9 War in Pocket Optimus Prime, with DX9 War in Pocket Grimlock, with new H Toys Jazz, with Magic Square Toys Trailbreaker, with Tanaka Tony Robot Former's Blue Streak, and with Funko Pop Death of the Endless, let's wrap things up with my final thoughts. Okay, final thoughts. The transformation subjects the robot hands to paint scratching and scraping, and this is actually my biggest issue. Uh, the others are comparatively minor. You have wheels that don't turn, but then again, I did not buy transformers to make them race each other in robot in alt mode. Uh, there is a lack of biceps, waist, and thigh swivels. The black shoulder joints are an eyesore. They really stick out in vehicle mode against the yellow and the blue. Uh, the gun fits too loosely in B's hand, and the rear windshield is unpainted. It's a solid yellow where I think it should have been colored uh, the sparkly blue of the other glass windshield and window parts of Bumblebee. Pros! Actually, this figure has a lot going for it. This is a cartoon accurate bee that ditches the tune's ungainly proportions. Like, I've only rewatched G1 recently and I never actually realized how awkwardly big tune Bumblebee's head is until Takara Tomi slavishly co copied it for MP45. And, and I love this shade of yellow, sort of like the shade of sunflower petals. And lastly, B is as cute as a button, he has oodles of personality, and it's just so much fun to take photos of for short comics. Uh, verdict. My verdict is, I, I see so much of myself in this B. 
He's small, simple, unimposing, cute, but not without personality, spunk, and a sting you're not likely to forget. Anyway, that concludes today's tune. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel and follow Robot Show Tunes on Facebook if it so please you. Now, before 2019 ends, before the year ends, uh, I'd like to thank all you guys who supported this channel for the past six or so months. I'll be taking an ever so short break from uploading content, hopefully not longer than four weeks to recharge and to take stock of things. Anyway, again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, see you at the theater.